everybody, this is Rusty from Rusty Reviews. This is going to be part one of two part, actually three parts of the Super Late of Arms Piston Conversion Kit. Now, I set my rifle out about seven weeks ago to have this converted out to piston. And what I was doing is, what they requested, is to have a more technical video of the initial tuning process, um, how to put it together, and... Uh, the shooting and the after action, you know, how I felt about the system in general. Now, this system is about $250 from, for what you see here. And it is a relatively simple system. It looks like a direct impingement. Mm, excuse me. But of course, it's slightly different. So we'll go, go ahead and go over what's different than the average direct impingement system. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a direct impingement system for some of you who are slightly newer and may not know the difference yet. Um, okay, here we go. This is a direct impingement system. Now, if you look here, you can see that this has a hole at the end and it would, and it actually captures in right up here. Okay, this is what actually stops the gas. This here, combined with a normal gas key on an AR-15, will push the round or the bulk carrier group back, working against the buffer system to bring it in and cycle the round. Okay, now. The piston system works in a slightly different method. Hold on a second. The piston system works with a solid metal rod. Now, this rod actually goes in through here. Okay, now this is the gas block. Okay, this will go in through here, and inside of this tube right here on the top here is a standard mag release spring. Now, Honestly, as we all know, these are about 10 cents on the dollar. So if, if the spring in here breaks, you can find another one for really cheap. Okay. But what it does is it connects onto this end here where the normal gas key would be. It's honestly just a little nub for the piston to actuate and move the action. And we'll get to the bolt carrier group here in just a second. So inside of here is the spring. When the gas hits it, it literally just moves this bad boy back and forth. As you can see here. A little bit spring loaded. Okay. Now, when this system is fully put together, you get it on. Okay. The piston itself or the, the rod itself will line in through the gas hole up here. Okay. Now, this here is just a placement cap. All it does is you put it in and you screw it on and it keeps the piston itself in place. Okay. Um, the actual gas bleed off or the adjustment valve is right below this and before i show that i will show you guys the uh, allen wrench that they sent with it now depending on the length of your hand guard and now wrench of this is required my hand guard is 15 inches so when it's actually lined up i have about an inch worth of space i have to uh, work with so it, it's actually rather nice to have an allen wrench this large um so let's go ahead and take a look at the bleed off valve now the bleed off valve is right here okay i'll stick this in there we go. All right. The bleed off valve works just like any adjustable gas block. Very simple. You know, you turn to, you turn to close it, you turn to open it. Okay. Now with this system, and we'll test this theory tomorrow from what we have been told and what we have seen, the starting off of the piston system, instead of starting off closed, like you would on an adjustable gas block, you actually start off with it open. Right now, mine is three quarters of the way open, which is what's suggested for the six, five Grendel. Um, Outside of that, we'll see. This is basically our zeroing area. We'll either go up or down from here to make sure we get into semi automatic action. And one thing that I have been told by this, by the owner uh, of Superlative Arms, by Tony, is that this system is extremely good for your piss or for suppressors. Um, they told me a story about a group of guys who were running suppressors on Grendel's were having issues with it firing, um, you know, getting jams, failure to ejects, all because of low, uh, low gas. So they switched over to the um, piston system, were able to do the tuning process with their suppressors on, and were able to get more reliable semi-automatic action out of their um, setups. So. If you're big into suppressors and you're looking for hog hunting or you're just wanting to try and keep that gas away from your face, I'd take a look at this. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this. Like I said, the, the second part of this video, did it fucking stop on me? 
Sorry about that, guys. It didn't stop. My battery started to go low, so my flash went off. Um, I do apologize for that. Um, but if you are looking for a system here um, for your suppressor, go ahead and take a look. It is a very simple system. They do come up $250. Now, you'll see here on this, it's pretty loose. And that's because they no longer require the gas rings. Um, it's your basic bolt, bolt, so you don't have to go for any special bolts. What this requires is just a completely stripped bolt, except for you still need your extractor and springs, of course, there. But you don't need the gas keys anymore. Um, that's because there's no more gas entering into the bolt carrier group at all. Um, so tomorrow, when I look, there hopefully should not be too much of a buildup here on the bolt carrier group. Now, I do expect some as always, but hopefully we should not see too much buildup along this area here where it normally would get really nasty. So as you all can see now, it's pretty clean. Don't know where that came from. It came from a gas tube. Um, it's pretty clean. So when I get back tomorrow and I start the cleaning process and my after action review of this, um, we'll see how it turned out. Okay. Well, anyway, this is Rusty. I'm going to go ahead and call this part of the video done. Uh, the next part you will see will be me on the range doing the tuning process, and we'll see how that goes. And then the final part of the video will be the after-action review of how I feel about the system itself, if I feel it's worth the $250 uh, conversion. Um, but other than that, uh, I will see you guys later, and have a great night. Bye. All right, this is uh, part two of the video. Here we are talking about the... Uh, this piston system again, this time it's the tuning process. Now, the initial things that we saw, or that I saw, involved having the um, gas screw here open all the way. Now, we started off like that. It took me about 30 rounds to get it down to where it's at right now. The tuning process works just like an adjustable gas block. Um, basically, you take your extra large Allen wrench, you put it in, you twist it to the left to make sure it works. Now. What we'll see here is the uh, 6.5 working off of its own. You'll see me holding my mag. Um, I'm having a little bit of mag issues, but it is working in semi-auto. There she is. All tuned up, ready to go. And all in all, compared to the... Uh, to the direct impingement, I can definitely see and feel a difference in the recoil. Um, there is no gas coming back to me like some of the early piston systems. I really like this system. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a good system. I think it's worth the $250. Um, the tuning process did take me a little while, but I think if you're dedicated to it, it should do you just fine. So this is my review on that uh, on the Superlative Arms piston system. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and email me or talk to me a direct in, direct message. Uh, if you guys want more information, but otherwise, this is Rusty, and I'm out.